Hello and welcome back to Racing 101, where today we'll be talking about racecraft, overtaking techniques and how to battle your rivals on track. Let's get started. The easiest way to explain how battles work on track is to consider the road as having multiple lanes, each of which is about as wide as a car. The inside lane is the one closest to a corner. You take the shortest distance around the turn, but as the turn is tighter for you, you need to take it at lower speed. The outside lane is the one furthest from the corner. It's not as sharp so you can take it at higher speeds, though you also have to cover a longer distance. The ideal racing line is a combination of the inside and outside lines. Start on the outside, move into the apex, and then track out again on the exit. When you're on your own, you can use the entire track, but in a racing situation, you're fighting your opponent to get that faster line. When you're side by side, the lane you choose will determine who wins that particular corner, so let's try the inside line first. Overtaking on the inside of a turn is the most common way you'll pass another car. Not only is it the shortest distance around a turn, but by forcing your opponent to take the outside lane, they'll be slower through the turn and have a tougher time exiting the corner. On the straight, use any speed advantage you have to get close to them, and be side by side before you reach the braking zone. Next, pay close attention to their car and when they brake. As soon as they do, brake ever so slightly later than them to carry more speed into the turn and take the position. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that as you're on the inside of the corner, your turn is sharper and slower than your opponent's. While braking later than them is ideal, you may still need to brake earlier than you normally would in order to make the turn. For example, if you normally brake at the 100 meter board on the outside lane, you'll need to brake slightly before the 100 meter board on the inside lane. If your opponent knows how to defend well and holds the inside lane before each turn, you may need to get aggressive and try overtaking around the outside instead. This tactic will only work if your opponent holds the inside lane throughout the entire turn and leaves you with enough space to get alongside. If they track out wide on the exits, you won't have enough space to get by. As your opponent is on the inside, they'll have to slow down more to get around the turn. If you brake slightly later than them, you may be able to carry more speed around the outside of the turn and stay side by side with them throughout the entire corner. By the time you get to the exit, you'll be in the ideal lane, as the fastest line typically runs towards the outside on most corners. Use that advantage to put the power down early and try to pull away. When the conventional overtaking moves don't work, you can try the switchback pass. This is particularly useful when your rival isn't used to driving on the inside on the way into corners, while also not giving you enough space to make an outside pass. Like before, you want to start on the outside of the turn, but instead of staying there, keep a close eye on your opponent. If they look like they're going to break too late and overshoot the turn, or are going to track out towards the outside line in the exit, break early and quickly turn in tight to steal the inside line. The switchback pass is the riskiest one to pull off, as you need to predict and quickly react to what your opponent will do. If your opponent hugs the inside line throughout the entry and the exit, you won't be able to try this kind of pass. Your best bet is to follow your rival for a lap and get a sense of where they like to place their car before committing to the move. Now that you know the various overtaking tactics you can use, your goal when defending is quite simple. Make the attacking driver as uncomfortable as possible through each turn. By now you'll know that the inside lane is the ideal one to be on when you approach a turn, so try to secure that lane before you get to the braking zone. Get your braking right and place the car on the apex before checking where your opponent is in relation to you. If they're right alongside and attempting an outside pass, respect their space to avoid a crash. If they're not alongside, however, track your car towards the outside lane as you would through any turn and try to get the best exit possible. One last thing to keep in mind is that not every corner is an overtaking zone. On some circuits, there are long corner sequences where it's hard for a car to get alongside, so you won't need to worry so much about defending into these. Instead, try to take them as quickly as possible and pull a gap to the car behind so that they can't attempt an overtake into the next big braking zone. For more advice on how to get better at F122, check out the guides linked in the description, and good luck in your next race.